Hey everyone, this is Vikas for MOVFX and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this type of simple and smooth slideshow animation using Fusion. So let's have a look. Alright, so let me tell you guys, this tutorial is inspired by one of the video hype template and I have given a link in the description for that template, so please check this out. And without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we have to take a new composition, so go to file menu and take a new composition. After that, let's check our composition settings. So go to file menu and click on preferences and here is frame format. So this composition is 1920 into 1080 and 30 frames per second. So it's good and click on save. Now let's convert this composition into 180 frame which is equal to 6 seconds. So put the value 180 and hit enter. Now let's import an image file. So go to folder and uh, this is our image and this image is downloaded from pixabay.com and I have given a link in the description. So download this image from that link and drag and drop to the flow window. Now select this node and press F2 on the keyboard for rename and rename it to image and hit enter. Now right click on flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap and drag this image to the viewer and click on fit and click on window layout 1 for single view and increase the size of this preview window. Now let's fit this image with our composition so select this image and press shift plus a space bar for search box and search for crop. So this is our crop node so click on ok and drag it to the viewer. Now select this crop node and go to this properties window and click on keep centered. Now let's add a transform node so select this crop and click on XF which is a button of transform. So this is our transform node and drag it to the viewer. Now go to frame 160 which is approx uh, 5 second and 10 frame and uh, right click on size option and click on animate and go to center and click on animate ok. Now go to frame 0 and increase the size of this image so put the value 1.25 approx and hit enter and zoom out this image by pressing ctrl and scroll down and drag this image like this okay now double click on flow window and check this okay now click on fit after that let's add a color corrector node so select transform node and go to tool menu and here is color option and here is color corrector node so click on this and drag it to the viewer. After that come to properties of this color corrector node and drag, drag this slider down and here is master RGB contrast. So put the value 1.2 and hit enter. After that let's add a text node so click on this text plus node and add a text node and uh, drag it to the viewer and type a text whatever you want to type after that select this text and right click on that and here is character level styling so click on this and go to modifiers and expand this character level styling one now click on this option here and select all these text and go to properties window and change the font style so i'm using century gothic so this is our century gothic font style so select this and change this font type bold to regular after that select this middle text and go to properties and change this regular to bold and increase the size of this mid text and now select this create text and increase the size of this also okay now select this one okay now select this animation and go to alignment and and put the value 0 0.2 or something okay it's looking nice 
select this text create minus 0 0.2 now let's merge this text with our background so place it over here and take a merge node so click on merge button here now increase the size of this flow window and make this text foreground and these four nodes background so connect this green point to this and yellow point to this and drag it to the viewer now add a transform after the text node so select this text node and click on accept button here now let's animate the text so go to frame 160 and place this text over here and let's decrease the size of this okay set this okay it's good now right click on center and click on animate on frame 160 and go to frame 0 and drag this text over here okay now let's check this now let's add some particles so select these and place it over here and go to folder and import our particles file so this is our particle footage and i have given a link in the description so download this and import it on your flow window okay so let's merge this dust particle with our background so take a merge node and connect this green point to this dust particle and a yellow point to this merge and drag it to the viewer now select this merge node 2 and come to properties and apply mode to a screen after that let's create a mat so click on bg button here and rename it to mat so press f2 okay now select this mat and increase the size of this preview window now select this mat node and click on polygon button and add a polygon tool let's zoom out this preview window so press ctrl and scroll down and create a polygon so go to frame 0 and create a polygon like this okay and then go to frame 160 and drag this and make a shape like this okay now drag this mat to the viewer and select this polygon tool and click on invert now increase the size of this flow window and take a transform node so click on xf and here is transform so connect this yellow input point to this so double click on blank area and click on merge button and take a merge and connect this yellow point to this mat and green point to this transform and drag it to the viewer now select this merge and go to operator and click on in okay now select this transform node and increase the size like 1.05 okay okay now let's add a directional blur so select this transform node and press shift plus a space bar and search for directional blur so this is our directional blur and click on ok now let's increase the size of this preview window and zoom it and select this directional blur node and change some settings so increase this length value maybe minus 0 0.05 and hit enter okay it's looking nice after that select merge node and press shift plus a space bar and search for shadow so this is our shadow node so click on ok now drag it to the viewer and increase the softness of this okay now let's merge it 
So increase the size of this window and take a merge. Now use this output as a background and this output as a foreground. So connect this yellow background point to this shadow and green foreground point to this merge tool and drag it to the viewer. Oh sorry, I just invert this connection. So connect this green point to this and yellow point to this merge and drag it to the viewer. Okay, click on fit button. Let's check this. I think shadow is very dark so select this shadow and go to this option and decrease the blend like uh, okay it's looking nice after that let's create an aspect ratio so double click on blank area and take a background node so click on bg button here and rename it to aspect and hit enter now select this aspect node and click on rectangle button here and make the rectangle like this now let's merge this so drag it over here and click on merge button and take a merge and let's connect this so connect this green point to this aspect and yellow point to this merge and drag it to the viewer now select this rectangle tool and click on invert now it's almost done after that let's uh, smooth this animation so go to spline window press f4 on the keyboard and click on one node okay so here is polyline so click on this option and so delete this unwanted keyframe okay now select these keyframes and press F on the keyboard for flatten and now drag this handle and make the curve like this okay now check this transform one also and select these two keyframes and press F on the keyboard for flatten and drag this handle and make the curve like this okay it's good now click on size and then click on this button and here is both keyframes so select this and press F on the keyboard for flatten and drag this handle and make the curve like this and last transform 2 so select this and select these two keyframes press F on the keyboard and Okay, so now it's done. So press F4 on the keyboard and go to flow window and let's play this animation. Okay, so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial. I hope you like it and I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye.